Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the lightest color, and that is going to be my lipstick in Hue. And this one is a glaze. Again, all these cost $14 from MAC, and you can get them at counters, um, stores, or online. And this one is actually looks like this. It's like a nude pinkish color. It has a little bit more of a nude color to it than pink, though. And it also is a glaze, which means it's going to kind of have a glossy finish, which I really love. Glazes are probably my favorite type of MAC lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this color is basically my lip color, just a little bit more nuded out. And I really like this color if you're going to be wearing like a smoky eye or you want something that's very, just not very noticeable on your lips. Uh, the thing is, I'm kind of pale, I mean, I'm kind of tan right now, so it's a little bit light for me. And I would probably put a little bit more of a warmer gloss over it just to kind of warm it up a bit. But that's what it looks like on the lips. And I really like it. It's a very nice color. Um, it's very good just to have as like a staple nude color. I would much rather use this over Myth or um, even like creme de nude. So this is probably my favorite very nude color to wear on my lips. Next favorite that I've been loving lately is Max Angel Lipstick and it looks like this. Similar to nude, uh, to nude, similar to Hue, but it has a bit, a lot more of a pink color. And this is actually Kim Kardashian's signature color. I know everyone says that, but I thought I might as well say it too. It's a really pretty color, and this is actually a frost, so it is a little bit frosty for those of you who don't like frost, but it's a beautiful pink color, and I definitely think it's a necessity for every girl who needs just that very wearable pink that you could also use for going out if you're going to do smoky eyes well, or you could really just use it with some neutral eyes and just put a little bit of this on. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on too. Again, I'm a little bit tan, so it's a little light on me right now, but it's a really pretty pink color. I like the way it looks. I really like the consistency of it, and it's definitely a thumbs up for Angel. I can definitely tell why Kim Kardashian loves it. So if you're looking for kind of the perfect pink nude, more of a pink color, Angel is definitely your best bet. This next one is kind of what I call a Barbie pink, and it's Pink Nouveau, and it actually matches my shirt. And it's really pretty, very a buildable color. You can do like a very light wash of it and get kind of just a flush of pink or you can build it up and get a very bright intense Barbie looking pink and this is a satin so I like the finish of these very smooth and soft and I'm going to go ahead and put this one on so this was a very fast application and I also like to put a gloss over this one to kind of warm it up because it's a little bit purpley for me uh, but it's definitely a really nice color, and um, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more coats on and show you how you can really build up the color to get a more intense color. If you can see the difference on camera, but now it's kind of equivalent to more of like a Barbie bright, bright pink. Um, it's very pretty. It does have a little bit of a purple though, and you can kind of see the purpleness to it, but I definitely like it. It's a very unique color, and it's really fun to wear. Last favorite color that I've been wearing a lot lately is Max Brave Red, and this is a perfect red for me because it's a little bit more of a tomato-y red. It's not as kind of orange or intense as Lady Danger is, which is a very intense red for MAC. This is just a much wear more wearable version of that. And this is actually Brave Red. It's a cream sheen. I like the cream sheens a lot. And um, it has a little bit of very, very fine glitter in it. I'm not sure if you're going to see it, but it has very, very fine glitter inside of it. And it's kind of a really kind of a ruby red, almost kind of like my nails or my ring. So I like this, and I'm going to go ahead and put this on for you. So there is Brave Red. Uh, I like red with my blonde hair. I think it looks nice. Again, 
Um, I think red is perfect for fall. You definitely need a really good signature red color, and I really highly recommend Brave Red by MAC. It's just very wearable, and I feel like on darker skin tones, it would look amazing, and even on people who have a lighter skin tone, it would also just look really stunning. And it's a very simple color because you really don't have to do much with the rest of your makeup or even with your hair. And it just kind of ties your whole look together and is definitely a beautiful look for fall. So those were my top MAC lipsticks of the moment. And I just wanted to show you how they look on the lips, how they apply, that kind of thing. Let me know if you guys enjoyed. And of course, let me know if you want more of these types of videos. Again, super easy for me to make, but hopefully a little bit helpful for you guys in the quest for the perfect lipsticks. So thank you guys for watching and I really appreciate it. Bye.